There are a few ideas on how the name Tank came to be, so let's start off with a meeting in December 24th, 1915, where the Director of Naval Constructions Committee, the Admiralty, the Ministry of Munitions and the War Office were all present at a conference. Its goal was to talk about the development of designs for Caterpillar machine gun destroyers, also known as Land Cruisers. I'll now read a short quote from Albert Gerard Stern from his autobiography about that meeting and why the tank got its name. Mr. Thomas J. McNamara then suggested, for secrecy's sake, to change the title of the Landship Committee. Mr. Dienko agreed that this was a very desirable to retain secrecy by all means and proposed to refer to the vessel as a water carrier. However, in July 1918, the then popular Science Monthly reported a contradicting idea to where the name tank actually came from, and I quote, because a fellow of the Royal Historical Society has unintentionally misled the British public as to the origin of the famous tanks, Sir William Tritton, who designed and built them, has published the real story of their name. Since it was obviously inadvisable to herald Little Willie's reason for existence to the world, he was known as the Instructional Demonstration Unit. Little Willie's hull was called in the shop orders a water carrier for Mesopotamia. No one knew the hull was intended to be mounted on a truck. Naturally, the water carrier began to be called a tank, so the name became used by the managers and foremen of the shop until it now has a place in the army vocabulary and probably will be known in history for all time. An interesting idea, but there is another reason along similar lines. On the morning of September 15th, 1916, in the fields of northern France, these bizarre looking metal giant land ships rumbled onto the battlefield. The reason for this naming choice can be attributed to the widespread confusion of their purpose. As the armoured vehicles made their way across the battlefield, the loud noises of their engines and the massive clouds of dust they raised led to the soldiers to believe they were water tanks or mobile water carriers. As their official name was still unknown, the soldiers who witnessed them in action described them as tanks due to their resemblance of large metal containers used for holding water. This confusion eventually gave birth to the name tank, which stuck and became a widely accepted term for these armoured behemoths.